In this video, we're doing some practice problems working with molarity. Molarity, remember, is a unit of concentration that is described as moles over volume in liters. And so that's all you really need to know, and we can go ahead and get started with number one. So you're asked to find the molarity of a solution that is made by adding 24.3 grams of sodium sulfate in 125 milliliters of water. So we need to find molarity, and first, actually, we need to convert this grams to moles, and we have the molecular weight, so 24.3 grams. If you divide by molecular weight, gives you 0.171 moles, so molarity would be 0.171 over 0.125 liters because this is milliliters and we need to be in liters and when you multiply that out uh, you have 1.37 molar as your answer. In the next one we have a solution of glucose that is 0.278 moles and we need to find how many grams of glucose there are. So let's find how many moles there are first by solving for x and that is 0.139 moles of glucose which if you multiply by molecular weight grams over one mole moles cancel that gives you 25 0.0 grams of glucose. In this next one, you are asked to find how much water needs to be added to 15.4 grams of sodium hydroxide to make a 0.5 molar solution. So first let's um, convert 15.4 grams to moles, which um, let's see, is going to be divided by the molecular weight of sodium hydroxide, which is 40, and that gives you 0.385 moles. And so you can then plug this into your molarity equation, moles over liters, and when you solve for that, you get 0 0.77 liters, but you got to answer in milliliters, so that is 770 milliliters as your answer. In this next one, you need to find how many grams of potassium hydrogen sulfate are needed to make um, 0.35 liters of a 0.4 molar solution. So let's solve for how many moles are needed first. X over 0.35 liters. This gives you 0 0.14 moles, which you multiply by the molecular weight of potassium hydrogen sulfate, which you can find by summing up the weights of the atoms as given in the periodic table, and that gives you 19.1 grams. Okay, how many milliliters of 0.5 molar NaCl are needed to provide 0.038 moles of NaCl so we need we have 0.5 molar equals 0.038 moles over X this gives you 0.076 liters and you need to answer in milliliters so this is 76 milliliters of sodium chloride. In this next one you're asked to find what is the molar concentration of cesium plus in 0.015 molar solution of cesium carbonate. Well this is a salt and um, if you had one liter of this you would have 0.015 moles of cesium 2 carbonate or cesium carbonate but this is going to dissociate and since you have two equivalents of cesium this corresponds to 0 0.030 molar cesium plus. And that's some practice with molarity.